some folks can join me. Maybe not. Maybe folks are watching the game, but um, I'm excited for you being here. So I'll give it just a, a moment to see if it shows up. Okay, let's see, let's see. Hey, Tony. Well, for future references, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this towards the beginning of the video because this is gonna be a couple of parts. Gotta have your baby wipes, right? As you see, I've attempted to prep for this. <laughs> attempt is the word just because there's a lot of drying time that you kind of need and that's the only reason why I don't think anyone wants to see it straight up from the get-go um like start to end anyhow um the tools that you'll need I kind of tried to break it out here um so if someone really wants to do this with me which would be awesome and if you do it and you have videos please like let me know um message me over on Instagram or on Facebook in my group but the tools you'll need are pretty much standard tools this is like a little mixed media a little journal making a little a little of everything all right so um, scissors a hole punch binder rings you can use whatever size is according to how many pieces you're gonna have um, brushes and oh my goodness Susan <laughs> hey hotty popo <laughs> Um, spatulas, knives, heat tools, stencil stamps, and whatever ink you would want to use if that's how you want to go. And you're mad because you're gonna get you're gonna get a little dirty here. Um, for the wets, you're gonna need stuff like gesso, matte gel paste, or whatever your fixative is gonna be. But I would probably recommend something like that, matte medium type of deal. Um, modeling paste. I put light. I like that fluffy one from. Um, the craft is it the crafters workshop they have one that's really good i just don't have I, I don't i can't find it right now okay my craft room's a mess art glitter glue glue <laughs> art glitter glue because to me when stuff dries and you come back and you're like oh i didn't adhere that down too quick too easily art glitter glitter glue will fix it um acrylic paints fabri-tac because there's fabric involved um and baby wipes because you're gonna make a mess dry stuff whatever ephemera you want to use for this Paper napkins, paper scraps, washi, trims, fabric, fabric, scraps, and embroidery. So I have crazy handwriting, so in case you can't read that. Um, and I didn't put on here. Hello. I'm going to say heavyweight index cards. All right. Because you're going to need a somewhat sturdy base. So essentially what we're gonna do is decorate these cards up cut them in half punch some holes add some rings and make it as bougie as possible all right that's what we're doing good to see you Susan so um yeah I'm gonna go ahead and get started with showing you kind of what I've got already and maybe kind of the vibe I'm going with for me I kind of want sort of a beachy peaceful river runs through it kind of a, a vibe or a mermaid you know not in the river but you know in the ocean that was kind of what i was going for so i just started with these but today i'll just kind of show you some of the basics of getting started and you know you're going to use whatever supplies you want these are cards where the backs weren't done because you're going to want to do front and back so i'll go ahead and just kind of start with the back and show you um, the direction I was headed with that and then I'll put these over to the side to dry and See if we can get into this. So what's everybody doing? It's Sunday Sunday fun day. What are y'all up to? I got some old gesso here. I've been using Might as well start using it up and Yes, yeah, Susan need I need you as a moderator Because <laughs> you should be doing stand-up comedy like that's that was your calling that was your calling all right so essentially with your your index cards you kind of find your acrylics that you want to use the paints now y'all can use i mean you can use inks you can use like if you got refills you never are touching pull them suckers out refills for stamp pads or just you know water color liquid watercolors whatever you want to do just pull out those colors for me i've kind of got a combination of just some 
Stanko Craft Smart Cheapo Paint. Doesn't matter. It's, it's gonna work just as fine. And I got a little bit, a little bit bougier with some Dina Wakely. Got those in here. Um, this Deco Art is a metallic, and also have some of that color shift um, as a metallic too. Those were gonna work. Oh, and the Distress Paint. Y'all know y'all hoarding these and ain't used them. Pull them on out. Plus, those are those are really liquidy, so they're they're easy to use. All right, so I've got some of those going. So we got a heavyweight card, and this is you know where the messiness ensues, um, but we're just gonna make it work, okay? And you're trying to use these with the idea that you can add something to them, like text or that sort of thing. Maybe you're going to collage with text. That's up to you. It depends on the purpose. I think for mine, with them being like that half size, I was thinking about doing these, um, just some like two inch circles on one of the sides and kind of putting some sort of reference. I don't, I'm not sure, I'm not sure what the reference will be, but stay tuned, we'll find out. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get with this. Um, so we're just kind of getting this gesso on here and my whole thing has been using up my scraps. So that's why this is kind of a continuation um, last week we were talking about using them for, um, <laughs> I just saw your message on there, Susan. She says, I'm being lazy, cuddled up with a blanket, chilling, chilling like a villain. So I'm going to get this on here, but, um, I've been wanting to use up my scraps. So the other day, that's what I was kind of getting at. And, you know, they're still here. They're, they're, they're infinitely here. All right, so I'm gonna take a little bit of this cheapo paint and I'm gonna mix a little bit of the Distress. And basically while that gesso is wet, you're using um, you're using that and the paint to kind of just give you a blend of color. Now, if you really didn't like go hardcore on the decorating, um, you definitely, let me see if you guys, yeah, you can see. That's good. You definitely could write on some of this. <clears throat> but we ain't worried about that part right now, okay? Right, just get in there and get started with the, the first the first little bit. All right. So I might be jacking up the other side of it, but it doesn't really matter. It's mixed media. It can be that way. All right. And this is the time where if, in fact, I guess I'll act like I'm right and rinse this out. You don't have to though. The other ones I didn't at all. This is a point where you can go ahead and start adding things, your little inclusions to the page. So, I mean, if you got some papers here um, that you want to add, you can just start getting them stuck on there because all this wetness is going to hold it. <gasps> Rosemary, hey! Hey, Leslie. Oh my goodness. I done got nervous now. <laughs> oh my goodness. So yeah, so you can just take that and get it into the into the bits here, the little witness. Um, and even for texture, I mean, if you had like wallpaper scraps or something, some of those ones that are textured, that would be cool. But even if you've got stuff left over from, um, from embossing, and this one was inked, but just embossing pieces. You can take that and add those elements in there too. Tissue, that's what I was just trying to give you guys, again, for folks just coming in. I was trying to give like, I kept thinking of stuff later and later I should have had something bigger than a, a card, but there you go. Take a picture, it'll last longer. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, I'm flipping. And here's your dry stuff. <laughs> The last thing I remembered was actually the card to use. But we're just taking our giblet bits and adding them into this. So we can also use tissue paper. You could stamp on that and use that as part of, you know, what you're going to get in there. Of course, mine's drying now a little bit, but that's why we want to have our other mediums. But just kind of remembering that you're going to be able to come back secure things down and that sort of deal. Um, it'll work out, in other words. Don't be stressing up in here. Hey, Valeria. 
So sometimes when I feel like I'm just starting this and not really knowing what the heck I'm doing, which is most times, um, <laughs> just getting it where it's like it's not completely blank, that's the biggest help from the get-go. So I'm going to take these, and this one doesn't even have that much on it either on the back, but I'm just kind of sit it over to the side. We'll come back to these, and we're just going to share, like, the giblets from each, like, pool. Because, in other words, I'm pulling stuff out of a bin, y'all, and it's really just kind of random. So at least if you're going to have some randomness, try to, that's why I'm like, Get your, get your paints kind of in the same color family. Get some papers kind of in the same color family. And as you pull through them, save a little bit for the next piece. That's the biggest thing there. So again, I'm going to just go ahead and do these the same way. Get our gesso. Get it on there. And I'm just going to do a couple of more of these so we can kind of move on to the next piece. All right. It's good to see you all. Oh, hey, Ben. I'll talk to you later. It's so nice to have folks in here. Oh, my God. I haven't done a live in so long, y'all. I was like, I'm going to pee on myself. <laughs> I really felt like that because it's just when you hadn't done it, it's like starting all over again. So thank y'all for joining me because it makes me feel like somebody loves me. Thank you so much. Come on, come on. I'm add a little bit of the metallic on this one, and I'll do a little Dina on this one. So it's just a little of this, a little of that. All right. And you know, if you start with one and it's too much, come back and use the the gesso um, to tone it down. Wipe it off. Whatever. You know, it's it's an index card, y'all. You, you do not need to be stressing this. I mean, the stress is going back into Walmart to get some more. But you know you got enough supplies that y'all been keeping up in there, curating your collection with, that you can pull some of this stuff out. Especially that scrapbook paper you know you ain't never going to use. You know you bought the whole thing for like three sheets in there. All right. So I'll stick that off to the side. And again, with this one, I'm just going to go in and put down some papers while it's wet. Um, we'll just keep one. Valeria, yeah, you do need to do one. Yes, you do. Rosemary, I was laughing this morning. I don't know if she's still in here. She might not be. But if she is, I was laughing this morning because um, she was getting a shout out sending rusty rings to people. So that was funny. All right, I'm gonna get a little piece here. And like I was saying, you can also, with your washi, come back in here and do a little bit. That's another way when you, you know, you've got something thin that could go on here as another element that will work out really well. I'm gonna just put this piece in the center. And the only thing I'd say is if you put something on here and it's overlapping, don't stress out about cutting those edges yet. Let just let let it sit there and marinate. Don't be poking around and doing three much with it. <laughs> yeah, Rosemary, I was like, I need give me them rusty rings. I want some rusty rings too. You've been holding out. Give me all the rusty grungy stuff. Okay, so got those down. So. Grab it, put it out to the side. And y'all know I'm working in like no space right now because I've just been too big of a bum to pick up. It did the it the it transformed those rings transformed her journal. We're talking about Gail. For y'all like, who are you talking about? Gail. <laughs> I was like, she needs to add your note in there. Lana, are you, what you up to, girl? Okay, a couple of other things here. So, essentially, the steps are, first, you're just covering the card with the gesso. Then, while it's wet, you're going to blend in some paint or inks or whatever you got. Um, add any little bits and pa of papers where you want. Um, 
and then wait until it's more dry if you want to decoupage it or I'm calling it decoupage, add those other elements. So these are some of the ones I've got here. Um, and it's like just slapping stuff on there. I will show you that with those metallic paints. Um, let me do it. Let me, let me see. Yeah, I got some on here. You can kind of see. Let me if I hold it this way. This is some of the copper and that blue flash. You can really see it more on here, I think. But just adding it in those um, bits. And for that part, I used, um, I used kind of like a stencil brush, like this one. Just one of those flat top ones. You don't have to, but I found that that one worked pretty good. So here's another one. I was actually just like pulling paint off of another one, another card and got there. Okay, so here's the other aspects of this. Stenciling, so you can get texture if, in, let's say you don't have any wallpaper, you don't have, you know, some embossed paper. Adding that stenciling. So maybe that's what we should do next. Let's do the stenciling and just adding some sheen to these blank cards. We'll just go a little bit longer. Y'all, thank you for being here. Lana says she's usually sitting in the balcony, but she's coming out. Girl, come on out. See, that's the effect Rosemary and Popo have on people. What else are y'all talking about? Oh, Renita, hey. It's good to see you, Renita. I haven't seen you in forever. Nice to have you here. So, yeah, I did some of these just I was like, so we have something halfway done in here. So this one, okay, so let's see. Let's put a little stenciling on this one and this one and then maybe on this one and this one we will um add some more some metallic to it okay so i'll move those out the way i do want to show you too on this one like see just taking washi and you don't have to put a whole strip here you can kind of fussy cut around it if you want to do that i know um yeah i've got these two kind of tried to center them because hopefully what will happen is once i cut through here there'll be one on each side and maybe if you have some sides that are decorated a little bit more okay see so another little washi girl there and you know with that you're gonna have to get some art glue or glue behind that washi if you want it to stay down so that's why i'm kind of breaking this up so if you guys want to play along and i think friday we'll do another live um if you want to play along or you know, use up some of your scraps, you'll be ready to roll with that. Okay, so going back to the modeling paste, again, I'm gonna use this Liquitex one. I like TCW, that fluffy one, and also, um, oh, what's the other one? I think it's a Dina Wakely one. I'm not sure right now. Right now, the whole point is that you want something that's not so heavy so it'll dry quickly. Because that gesso over there, by the time I finish this, it'll be dry. And then, of course, if you got your heat tool out, you'll be fine um, with that. So for this part, I'm just going to take one of these little spatulas. And you see, it's just like super fluffy, like marshmallow fluff. That's the kind of um, modeling paste I like when you don't have forever in a day for this stuff to dry. And it's not so much that you gotta use a lot. It's, I mean, we're not trying to build some super peaks or anything. We just kind of want to add that little extra texture to it. Come over to the side, maybe right here. And then the other part is, um, if you don't like it, just wipe it off. <laughs> but you can also add texture either by taking that gesso and just once this is dry, creating more depth to it, I guess you could say, by layering the images and then putting down um, some gesso on top of that, kind of, you know, like a just grunging it up a bit. Or you can also take um, the modeling paste and just kind of come around those edges. The idea is that it's not about it being like perfect stenciling it's kind of the opposite all right <laughs> it's the all of all of the things i ever show you is going to be the opposite of perfect all right so we're going to put that there and just set it over to the side so that one can dry and this one as well 
All right. Put the marlin paste back in there. Move it over. Here's the other thing. If your stuff starts getting, whether it's the spatula that you use for the gesso or for the marlin paste, when it starts getting crusty, like let it get crusty. Because then when it dries, if you go back to use it again, it's gonna get all that crust on the paper and it's gonna be extra good. So, just saying. Oh, uh, hey, Angie. <laughs> she says she doesn't, oh, doesn't know how her LOL got in there. I know how your LOL got in there. Okay, let me just wipe my stencil up. If you don't have a sink, okay, listen to what I'm saying. Don't do what I'm doing, all right? I mean, okay, it's nice if you wipe it, but I'm kind of hard on my stencils. But take your stencils and get it in some water. So if you can put something on the floor, you don't want to craft a lanch or nothing and get stuff every, every, everywhere. All right, so we got a couple of these. You know what? I've got my little mat that I had some stuff on. So let's just add some more. All right, so let me do this. Extra crusty is good. Extra crispy chicken, extra crusty art. This is when you know you live in your best life, all right? So we've got some of those. Let's get this brush. If it got, no, your brushes, you don't want your brushes extra crusty, but I mean, this is specifically for this, so I'm not gonna be mad. Um, and so let me, oh, I should have had one there that was, some of the modeling paste, but not done up. Oh, here's one. Just throw it in there. <laughs> throw it in the mix. All right, so once you, oh my God, I'm like two left somethings. All right, so if we take this aqua teal, aquaman color, it's not really aquaman color, but well, it kind of is. I guess they both kind of are. So I'm just gonna take this and then take a little of this one and kind of go in here. And so that's, I mean, it's not that you need a lot. It's just if you want it to kind of hit those high points and give you a little shimmer. So that's one way. There's shimmer behind it too, so I guess it's harder to see also. I'm not gonna waste what's on my brush. Put that to the side. And then for these, um, you can come in here, dab it out. You can kind of go along the edges if you want. You could ink your edges if that's, you know, the vibe you're going for. But just save some of your edges so that you can add fabric bits and, you know, any little extra giblets. I mean, it could be all paper. But the idea is like some kind of trim or some you know, extra fabric that you might have laying around. And again, when we cut these down, you can keep some of these more on the plain side so that if you did want to put write something or stamp something in particular on there, I should probably move up in frame. Um, but if not, you can always just die cut out um, a circle or you could just, you know, kind of do a rectangle or some kind of shape, die cut a shape that you could pop up or just glue it on, on top of it. So, you you know, it depends on, the composition is gonna depend on how you plan to use it. But right now, I'm not gonna worry about that. <laughs> I'll worry about that on the next one, okay? Your stencils are supplies. You don't clean them, <laughs> you just wipe them. Yeah, see, and then it's like you've created your own stencil because then it's gonna be all grunged up. That's called history. It's like, living a good life, you know, and letting it show. I'd rather crusty stencils than um, all these wrinkles I got sitting in. So I'm just adding more sheen because that's me. <laughs> Do what you like. But again, with even with doing this, say you put down pieces and you're like, oh, I'm not feeling this. Just keep going because then you might come across another one that's like you're feeling it more and you're thinking this is more the, the direction I want to take it in. But that stuff usually comes a little bit later. So don't, um, don't worry about trying to like force it to be a certain way right away. Y'all have been seeing those challenges. Have y'all been seeing those um, challenges that 
they're like, it's like the crazy craft challenge. Is that what it's called? Valeria knows. I think she's watched like all of them. So they're doing stuff blindfolded, I think. So I was laughing because I was thinking, oh my God, I would just like, I would be messed up. <laughs> If I wasn't going to, if I, I mean, not blindfolded, I'm causing everything to crash around me constantly, but I just, I couldn't do it. And then I saw this one lady who was doing it. <laughs> Blair's like, you should do it. You know what? I would do it if you'll do it. How about that? How about that right there? All right. I've got this matte gel. Okay. So I'm still just going to kind of add it. I'm going to add a few more things on here. I've got some matte gel here. Um, I'm gonna attempt to use it. It's getting kind of funky. I like, oh no, it's still oh, it's still juicy enough in there. But I'm kind of preferring to use my art glitter glue, to be honest. Um, let's see if we can layer this up a little bit more. And I don't know how it's gonna handle going over this foil paper, but I'm gonna try to get enough on here that whatever I put down will stick. But yeah, so if you have some of these bits, go on and do them where you put them on the calculator tape, or I guess that's what you call it, um, receipt tape. Do that, and then, you know, it's like, and then get rid of them, all right? Because at that point, you have done enough with your scraps. Like, you should feel perfectly at ease with moving on, all right? So, you have my permission. Yeah, Valeria, are you gonna do it with me? The blind lead, leaving the uh, blind leading the blind. All right, I'm putting this over here, and maybe we'll grab another, another something, something. Just kind of trying to put something down the center, so that it won't be totally naked. So let's maybe do this one. Can I get this together? I saw someone who did it and she was having, she was stressed. She was a little stressed. She's like, this, this is not fun. <laughs> this is not how you have fun. And I felt bad for her because it's like, well, yeah, when you are really like concerned about the outcome, yeah, you're going to be stressed. You are going to be stressed. All right. So. I think I'm about, I'm about done. I don't know, let's see. So two, this is a good way if you had a bunch of ephemera left over from some project, or you know how you do your printables and you end up having those extra bits left. That would be, ooh, what am I doing? Mm, get it together, get it together, child. I don't like this little plastic spatula. I like the, well, I mean, it's all plastic, but I'm saying like these ones. I like the rubber tip ones because they flex. Plus, y'all know we need a whole left-handed folks supply store. All right, so I'll put that down. So you get the gist. It's just really like layering it up. Yeah, if you worry about the way it's going to look, then you're gonna be um you're gonna be a little off kilter during the process i think you shouldn't do the process unless you're drinking unless you have a problem with that you know for all the people who can manage it though i think have a little wine it's like you know the little painting classes although those stress me out i'm not gonna lie because i know what it is supposed to look like all right so i'm reaching up here let me see here so I got these and I'm just looking to see what else I've got up here that's actually dry since I kept adding stuff. This one and this one could actually use, ah, should I put some gel on that one? Let me add it so it can dry. And see how, like, because I stuck this down in that gesso, it's kind of popping up. It's got, like, little bubbles under there. I w That's why I like the art glitter glue, because by the time, 
I'm gonna just put some down here, this tissue. By the time that um, they dry, I can literally just like take that art glitter glue and the needle of it, like the tip, not, you know, take the tip and just go underneath that. Shoot, I could do it now, but whatever. Um, take that tip, put it in there, and then push it down and we get what we need. All right, look at me trying to put that in there. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Yeah, okay, so I just wanna put this on, get it over off here to dry. Okay. <laughs> oh, Susan, you just killed the dream because I didn't think about those two things together. <laughs> Somebody did say they were not going to use scissors. <laughs> and then, yeah, they just ended up tearing. They like had their sheet down and tore it. And that was like the way they were going for that. So, all right, let's see here. So, um... You just so mix in your paints, place your papers, decoupage and all that good stuff. You know, and again, like I said, if you want to gesso again, because you're thinking, oh, this is just, well, I thought that was still some on there. Oh, it's on the back. You know, oh, this is just too standing out there. But if you got, if you let this sucker crust up and you go back in there and some of those little giblet bits get on here, it's going to be extra nice. I'm just telling you, trust me. Okay, just saying, trust me. Um, so you can do all that. And then essentially you're gonna come back and cut these down. So let's see if we can manage to find. Oh yeah, of course it's over here underneath another pile. So if you hear something crash, you know what happened. So hold on one second. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I don't know where my little gu guillotine is. It slipped off into the darkness. Um, so these are, I was gonna reach for a ruler, y'all. Okay, three by five, yep, three by fives. All right, so we just need to cut them down to two and a half. Let's see if this will get it. Okay, okay, you got it. Get your guillotine, you can just really go to town. So what, two, uh, two and a half? Oh my goodness. We'll break these up. And one more, one more. Okay. <laughs> Do that live. Yeah, cause I will probably, yeah. <laughs> that would be interesting. That would be interesting. All right, and so when you get all of these completely done and you're wanting to start getting them on your binder rings now i'm just showing you these but i know i'm gonna have enough that i'm gonna need like a one and a half ring and i have some but they're way over there and they're behind like 50 things that i can't get to right now because it's a sunday and i just i can't i can't handle it so <laughs> Get you some rings, find some rings, order some rings if you don't have them, but like get fun colors or if Rosemary will rust some up for you, do that. That would be even better. Maybe I'll have to do that this week, but we'll see. And then as far as punching them, you know, you can do them with a regular punch. You could do it with your, your every, what is it, chopper, chomper thing, Maji, crocodile. Or whatever um if you're a planner person and you've got your little hole puncher for that you could just set it and do the two if you got those old school like heavy rump iron ones like what we used to have in school papa what's a, what's that called you know what i'm talking about i mean it's a hole punch but the ones where it just does the two holes that would be good and you can either mark them out and put them through here or just punch one and then use that as your template as you go along but I think what I would want to do before then is kind of fool around with not so much the order but whether or not this is going to be inside or outside right like do I have a preference so like this one I definitely would want to just work over here so let's just start there since it's first all right I won't be punching holes right now because that's mathing and I can't do that while, yeah, I, I can't. 
Um, but what I've got is essentially just a big pile over here of fibers. And that's what I'm just gonna fool around with for a second. Um, and just kind of see what I would like to add in here. So for some of these, and this is where the Fabri-Tac will probably work better. And depending on how long it takes for it to drip out, I feel like I need my fabric scissors. So we don't have to sit here all day. Um, so yeah, just this is where it was kind of fun to kind of see what do I have? What colors am I, <laughs> do I have too many of? And also it's a point where if you really want to just, um, Oh, that ain't that ain't trying to that ain't trying to tear right there. Hold up now. It's got an attitude. This is where I was thinking about coming in here and just sewing some of this. And I think I still might because it would be kind of nice just to have the extra threads. But you know, we can just at least start off. Especially if there's certain ones that are either um super heavy, like if it's this little canvas piece that might be one that I want to sew down or if it was especially thin sometimes the glue will come through I don't know what the fabric tack maybe if I do the fabric tack let's try it on this one all right let's see sometimes with the fabric tack if you take it and you kind of like rub it down do I want to put this on here why not I double it over and that's a whole nother situation all right let's just put one side down and see what's looking like sometimes when you put these down and I find this more so when I do journals that when you put it down it will come through and so then it's like mm, it's not what I was going for it's not the look all right but really what I just want to get from this you have to decide for yourself I just want these little edges I, I want I want it to have some some puffery, okay? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Leslie, me too. I do, now look. Well, I don't have an ice one, but I do have this one. And you know, I think this thing, do, do any of you have this? Basically, I think you're supposed to have the wax thread and it's set up so it will dispense it maybe or pull the, the thread out as you go to do the, the leather. But I, I can't I can't function with all of that right now. People's just having sharp objects around alone is enough. But yeah, if you whatever you got for the holes, that's perfectly fine. <sighs> Hi, Popo. Put them ice picks down. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> so yeah, just find which side, which end you want to add the the elements too and just kind of mix it up and this might be you might feel like okay you want to actually let's get another piece down here you might actually want to um i don't really like that color with that one spit it out val what you saying what you saying girl huh um you may want to use paper maybe you've got some of those old martha stewart punches or something this is not grungy enough for me why are you doing this to me why do I have these sharp rump scissors, y'all? Tell me. I'm really trying to save my scissors, though, because I don't want to... <laughs> I cringe when I see, like, folks using the good scissors. Do y'all have good scissors? I don't know. I think all my scissors are good scissors. It's just... I can use them for whatever I want, but no one else can. <laughs> all right, let's put this one down, because this is kind of thick. All right. So, what I'm hoping is that... I'm just going to wrap this up. What I'm hoping is that some of you will use up your scraps and make little books. And I think what we'll do is maybe we won't do blindfolded drinking and crafting, but we can just do drinking and crafting with Valeria and Val on Friday. <laughs> or whoever, whoever else might join in. We'll do like a stream yard or something. And then, you know, if you all don't have, let me get some of this. Sorry. Now, let me get some slight. If some of you have, um, if you also have glasses with liquor in them. No, <laughs> if you also have, um, 
projects you want to work on. Maybe we'll just have you come on in the stream yard with us. You have, you said my size, you have one that's not as fancy. Well, no, you know, I think that like when I started doing that kind of stuff, that was the only one I think they had at Michael's. And at the time, that was like all I knew to do. Yeah, so I think maybe I'll figure out the order so y'all don't have to suffer through all that with me. Um, but maybe then to Friday, if I can finish this on up, I'll start a different one, a different color color patterns and whatnot so yeah so we'll just we'll figure out what which ones and which where for thou's and <laughs> get them in there and maybe if there's some places where i want to add some more papers to them or come across some little giblet that's just got to be included i'll add that but the idea is just kind of to create some interest and so since these ones were kind of um i had a good bit going on on them the other ones that are drying now i'll probably add those in so i'll have more blank space to work with but again even like i said i'm just putting this here as an example if you all have another idea for ways to add to this let me know um but yes yeah, stamping it would be a, a fun way i know when we used to be on periscope one of the projects i think one of the first ones i did were these little miniature books and I'm like looking around for it. I'm like, I know it's in here. But these little miniature books that were kind of like a card, but just had different little sentiments in there. Um, and those are really cute. So that kind of reminds me of the same thing. Um, so it's a million ways to, to do this, but I hope you all join me, me and Valeria. Some needles and two bone photos. <laughs> hey, that, that'll work. I'm I'm not mad. I think the more the more that you like do things in an unconventional manner, the more creative you actually become because it forces you to think that way, right? Like it's not someone telling you this is how you do it. And so some of the the makes that I've had that have been my favorite have been like that. Then when you want something that's like this is how you do it, if you want to be the bomb.com that's when you go over to Rosemary's channel and look at the projects she has. <laughs> and then that's when you go to her store and buy those and follow along. That's when you want something like looking right. But that is it. I'm so happy y'all got on here with me. Um, I'm going to just keep plugging away at it and try to have half the stuff done. And thank you. I'm glad you rang the bell. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm not going to harass you too much. Just a little bit. Just a little, just a little, just a little bit. That's all. Um, yeah, so I'm excited. I have tomorrow is going to be the... Um, it's the next week for... Oh, what is the thing? Oh, my goodness. I'm like totally... Oh, the collage, the weekly planner is what it's going to be. Um, Marguerite Miller's challenge. So going to do that. I've got to check out what those pieces are so I can pull them all out. But I'm going to get those done. I'm also working on some stuff for um, Elle's. So if y'all don't follow her, she's Bima, or Bima's Crafty Corner. You should follow her. She's fun. Rosemary's fun. Popo is on there with Rosemary. Keeping the comedy going. And, oh, thank you, Lana. I appreciate it. Uh, but y'all definitely have a, have a good rest of the weekend and make stuff. And midweek, I hope to see y'all and other folks, other crafters um, lives and chat with y'all that way. But thank you so much. I appreciate it. I don't want to go by. I don't want to go by, Mama. I don't want to go by. <laughs> but I guess I should. All right, y'all. Thank you so much. Talk to you later. Bye, everybody.